Hello and welcome to Jim's Workshop. Today I'm going to do a video on using Atlas lathe accessories with a South Bend lathe, uh, specifically the Atlas milling attachment for the 10 inch Atlas or Craftsman lathes. Uh, it's typically more readily available than the South Bend milling attachment that was made for the South Bend 9 inch lathe. Uh, typically they're easier to find and they are much more affordable than the equivalent South Bend part. Um, I'm also going to give you a little bonus Atlas lathe accessory on a South Bend lathe after the milling attachment video. So stand by. First thing we need to do to mount the Atlas milling attachment onto the South Bend lathe is remove the compound on the South Bend. Uh, there's two set screws, one on each side. You loosen those up, this will pull right off. Next thing that we need to do is you'll notice the Atlas has a hole the same as the South Bend cross light has a hole. Uh, we need to machine an adapter that goes between the two so that you can actually mount the Atlas milling attachment to the South Bend lathe. The adapter that I came up with looks like this. Double dovetails, one side size to fit the hole in the South Bend cross slide, the other side size to fit the hole in the Atlas milling attachment. That slides in there. Tighten up your set screws. And then the Atlas milling attachment will go right on. Once again, tighten up the set screws to hold it. Okay, so that is the Atlas milling attachment mounted to the South Bend lathe. Uh, you have your crossfeed travel this way. You're up and down. I didn't tighten it very well. This way, uh, the actual vise will swivel vertically, horizontally. And of course, you clamp your your work right here. Uh, there's there's a set of jaws that come with this with a uh, V-groove in them for holding shafts, that kind of thing. Um, and of course, you would have your cutting tool mounted in the spindle of the lathe. Um, I typically use three Morse taper collets to hold whatever cutting tool I'm using, or perhaps a boring bar. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. We'll zoom out for a little bit quicker look. So that is the Atlas milling attachment mounted to the South Bend lathe. Another Atlas accessory is this XY table, which I've currently got sitting on one of my Atlas drill presses. Uh, I've got three. This one is set up for slow speed. It's got the intermediate pulleys. Uh, it's also got a Morse taper to spindle which allows me to uh, utilize a variety of chucks and attachments in this. Um, I've got two tables on here. I store the XY table on the lower one when it's not in use. And of course the two Morse taper spindle means I can use accessories such as the tapping head up in there. Uh, the tapping head with the slow speed attachment allows me to tap holes pretty easily. Um, this is a small tap matic, size zero to a quarter maximum tap size. Um, so yeah, it works out well inside the 
low speed on this atlas. Now, being that this XY table is made by the same company that makes the atlas milling attachment, this goes together exactly the same way as that milling attachment. If you loosen up the screws, you'll notice the same spud on the base, the same hole here. What this means is that you can use these attachments in place of the milling attachment. I don't know why you would want to do this. If a person wanted to, this table fits right on that spud that I machined to allow the milling attachment to go on. Uh, some screws underneath. You can adjust it to where you need. Tighten up those set screws to hold it. And now you've got your, your two travels this way. This would probably be a good arrangement for, for clamping work to do, uh, for example, between centers boring. If you were to uh, want to mount work to the table and bore it between centers, this would work very well. So another way you could use that T-slotted table is mounted directly to the milling attachment uh, in place of the vise. This would once again give you the ability to clamp a work piece to the face plate, square it up, adjust it up and down, adjust it in and out, and you know, once again, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but perhaps this uh, fixturing arrangement would work for something particular. Um, might might get you out of a jam if you had to fixture something on the lathe. This uh, may be just what you need. And of course, the fact that you can use the T-slotted table from the XY table on your Atlas milling attachment or on your lathe also means that you can use the vise from the milling attachment on your XY table, such as this. Um, Everything made by the same company has the same spigot size, goes together exactly the same way. It's kind of like all interchangeable parts that they they use to make all of their uh, different components. Okay, here's a bonus Atlas lathe accessory mounted on my South Bend lathe. This is a turret tail stock, hand lever turret tail stock, um, designed once again for the Atlas Craftsman 10 inch lathe. Uh, here it is mounted on my South Bend 9 inch lathe. I did have to machine a complete new base plate for it, you know, because the Atlas lathe itself has. Uh, has flat ways and the South Bend lathe has V ways. Also because it was designed for a 10 inch attachment, the actual plate here is a little bit thicker than what I needed to put it on my 9 inch lathe. So I machined this out of a piece of cast iron. Um, probably the biggest piece of metal I've machined on my little Benchmaster milling machine. Um, See, it fits over the cross slide. It's also self indexing, so if you move the hand wheel all the way back, you can rotate the next tool. The stops also rotate as you're rotating the head. Uh, click in, you can have up to six tools mounted individually set for the depth that you want each one to go to. Um, yeah, this, this uh, you know, when, once again, it's an Atlas 10-inch lathe accessory mounted on my 9-inch South Bend, uh, and it works pretty darn well. Just an idea for those out there. Once again, the, these hand lever turret tailstocks 
are much easier to find for the Atlas 10-inch lathe than they are for the South Bend 9-inch lathe. So if you uh, feel the need for a turret tailstock, this might be a good way to, to uh, obtain one.